Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 119 of our Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and check it out. I got lots of stuff done yesterday. It's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, I am still having issues, but <laughs> uh, I've got a lot accomplished. Uh, so I marked out where I wanted all of the mana pools to go underneath to sort of spread out uh, and cover as much area as possible. So I'm going to have four Fallen Kanadas and four Bellathorns, uh, which the Bellathorns will damage mobs. Um, it's not really good for boss mobs, but... Uh, if the boss mobs summon mobs, and they summon normal mobs, then it will help. Uh, so, well, let's, let's see. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Sheep, sheep. You can probably hear all the pistons and stuff going on. <laughs> I, I tried to record an episode yesterday and it just I just didn't I didn't like it so I I just didn't put it out um, sorry <laughs> but oh, look at this this is great um it it took me a long time to get all this stuff figured out but I did I'm still having an issue but um I'm not not a hundred percent certain how to go about this. This guy is so awesome. Uh, so now I have all my mana pools are filled, and my card is filled. Uh, so all the mana is just going to start backing up and filling up these pools. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the problem is uh, my mob system. Is not collecting essence right now. I have essence. Essence. There's nothing. <laughs> so if I go over here though, and go over to my mob farm. Um, you can see, like, well, now mobs are starting to spawn, um, so I should, you should start being able to see essence coming in and out. <laughs> so, while I'm over there, no essence is going in over there, but these are chunk loaded, so I don't understand, uh, why it's not working. Um, I think maybe it's because of the Cursed Earth, but I thought the Cursed Earth would cause mobs to spawn. Uh, I don't, I just don't know. Uh, maybe I could get this guy to chunk load? So, um, so you can see it coming in and out. Even just, even just a tiny bit for a second. <laughs> but if I go over here, there's nothing, there's nothing. So I don't know what to do. I guess um, majority of the time I'm going to be over at the base anyway. I just don't understand why it's not working while I'm over here if everything over there is chunk loaded. Even turning uh, the chunk loading on that point did nothing because I still don't see it coming in. <sighs> I'm 
think it is it just because there's not a person there um maybe i could get a drone to to stand in my place for me uh uh i am <laughs> Uh, let me try to explain all this stuff before I go trying to fix that other thing. So, I was having issues with what kind of circuit do I build? What do I actually want this to do? And how can I make that happen? Uh, I could probably rearrange these circuits to where they're buried underground as well. Uh, but that's that's uh, irrelevant anyway. Uh, so <laughs> I wanted something that would keep the state of whatever this is uh, because. Oh, I'm sorry, Shiva. Because this is going to determine whether this is going. Uh, the mana cart can go up when it's on its way up here. Uh, so right now it's full, so it's emitting a signal. Uh, it's emitting a signal because it's full. Uh, so I wanted to keep it, so I put two torches out. Uh, one is the opposite, and then the other one is to give basically the whatever. Um, state it's in so it's the same <laughs> but this gives me the ability to manipulate it uh with this signal uh because i only want it to switch it if he's coming <laughs> from this way uh, so it switched it uh so he wouldn't go up <laughs> i love it i can sit here and watch this all day uh uh, but it did take a lot of just trial and error uh, trying to figure out what to do. Um, so yeah, it's been working. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't using the sticky piston and the block at first, and I was just using a repeater. Uh, but that was giving me uh, a solid signal, and I want, I wanted like a pulse uh, that would. Um, change it and then change it back so uh, that works <laughs> so much better uh, with just the sticky piston with a block of redstone on it uh, so when uh, the, at the detector rail loses its charge it will detract and <laughs> go back to normal so I like it I like it I like it I like it and I did that with all of them only um, once I got around to this side, uh, I had to add another torch uh, because the direction, the default direction that the rails are is different based on what direction you're facing. So these, uh, this side and that side is different from that side. So I had to add one extra torch uh, and then uh, move the part that I'm manipulating up further. So I had um, a lever here and it kind of it was kind of doing what I wanted but not. <laughs> it only did it uh, half the time. So Having the extra torch uh, over here helps uh, a lot. And this is just um, practice. <laughs> I was practicing setting all the stuff up. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, I like it, I like it. I decided to go with the redstone receivers and the transmitters. Uh, I could probably get away without it here uh, because I don't, <laughs> I literally only have to go a couple of blocks uh, for this one. 
since I don't need the second signal to uh, send him on the way, so I only needed this one. I could change that, but yeah, he's just uh, going along. I've been having problems trying to figure out where I can put uh, my powered rails because I can't really do it here uh, because it's uh, the rail is turning. <laughs> so wherever the rail is turning, you can't place a uh, powered rail because it won't turn. Uh, it's just like a vanilla thing. I At least I think uh, they used to not be able to turn. See? It won't turn. So that's no good. Um, and I can't like place it uh, on either side of this that I want switched because as soon as I do, this block will be powered and it won't be uh, be able to be manipulated basically. <laughs> I have this huge stretch uh, like here because these are spread out a little bit further uh, because I'm using a design that doesn't have one block center. It's got four blocks centered. So uh, this side is a little bit further away than that one. Uh, so I was able to get a powered rail in here. Uh, but I can't get it anywhere else. <laughs> so, so I put it like right as soon as he comes out. He's barely getting any juice. Uh, but he does make it all the way up. And I was able to put one here because, um, you know, it doesn't need to turn and go out. So save for the sky. Uh, so I can put him right next to the detector rail since uh, yeah yeah it still works over here when I placed it next to the detector rail so that's good. Um, I have been Oh, it's so busy uh, with this, and I went over to the base while I was just uh, trying to let some mob essence build up in the system, and hopefully it will be getting used up now, so let's go over there. Oh, I've been working on uh, laying out more of the cables. Uh, for the base. I actually got um, this part up here is uh, at least to this base here uh, on all four sides. I do have this one running up all the way, but uh, the other three sides are just to the base there. Um, I've been having to Uh, check in on this guy because I'm having an issue with, um, uh oh, with my Emmy interface because I can only have one card in here. Um, it I can only either do fuzzy, which will allow him to use damage shears, or I can do crafting, which will allow him to craft the shears. Well, if they're, if he doesn't have the ability to use the damaged ones, he's only going to use the one one time. So I have to use the fuzzy card in order for it to load the different damaged shears. So I have to go in and check every once in a while to make sure he's got shears. <laughs> Uh, so I made like I made like a hundred. I made like 
10 and he went through those in no time. So then I made 30 and then he went through those. So then I made 100 and now he's got a few. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know why this isn't. Either the mobs are not spawning or this isn't collecting essence when there's nobody around. So I don't know how to combat that. I mean, if it's... I don't know. I I thought this stuff was was working. Maybe it's the mob pressure because before with the um, the grinder uh, with the grind the mob masher, it was getting essence all the time. Mobs mash do count as player kills. Maybe it counts as player kills while I'm in here. I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. I'm tempted. If I if I do the mob masher, I have to have a way to move. Uh, the mobs around to get them to the mob pressure. Uh, so I would need fans, which isn't a problem because I have fans uh, from my old mob system. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out which would be a good way to do this? Uh, I think it's uh, over in my other system. Let's go check. Yeah. And some fans and all my doodads. that all right um let's go test this out because i'm i'm curious i remember getting essence all the time when i had these hooked up uh to the other mob system i would just have tons and tons of essence uh so what i might do is move these um stop these guys um woo. so this is the dreadful dirt Okay, so it will ignite in daylight if exposed to the sky, but you can apply a light level without destroying it because a light level of five and above stops hostile mob spawns. So I could get uh, some redstone lamps. I wonder how many do I, let's do this. I think that's it. Redstone lamp. There it is. I'll try to 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's not the right place. I like that this is glass and that uh, you can lay redstone on it. That's pretty cool. Doesn't look like it's getting those. There we go. Now, will that stop mobs from spawning while I, so I can work? It looks like it. Okay, so I definitely do not want to be coming in that way anymore. Uh, so maybe I'll put it over here. So, so I can get in that way. Aha. Um, and I can put a fan here. I think this gets, yeah. So I need to place this one from the inside. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I can adjust the width. So let's put those guys there. Let's show area. Make sure, uh, Okay, these guys are not going far enough. So, oh, let's do this. Uh, you can be sharp. And you can be lucky. I don't really know that I need the beheading over here. Uh, so... We need a distance upgrade here. Yes. And one here. Uh, these need to be at least three wider. Oh, sweet. It's three is the max. Uh, so that's perfect. Ah. Yes, and they need uh, distance. Nice. Um, I'm not having any anything flying in here, so I don't think I need to go up any. So that should that should do it. Um, Except for, like, controlling them. Um, so, we need... To, oh, I have levers. Levers. Yeah, I don't really need to control these. Uh... Because they're just going to be on all the time. Um, one thing I do need is to... To get the stuff. I forgot about that. Uh, so... Yeah, I think I got the old one over 
probably in here. Yeah, the absorption popper. I keep forgetting that I can't scroll wheel out of here. <laughs> I'm so used to, uh, you know, doing doing the scroll wheel out now because I missed it so much uh, <laughs> that I don't understand how to do it without it now. Um, also, I need to turn this off. Oh, I got it adjusted. Uh, so I'm hoping that this will fix the essence problem. Okay, so offer. Show area. Mm, let's move in. That should work. Perfect. Hit the area. And I guess I need an ender chest now. And oh no. Um, actually, I don't even need this on this side. I could put it over here. Now let's make sure I move it. Oh, you can only go over four. Ooh. Okay, now go Is that on the ground? Yes. That's that's pretty much where I want it. Um Okay. Um All right, so let's get an importer. And just run it up there. I could do an interface, I guess, but I don't know if that's going to mess up the, uh, the fluids. I put it on the wrong spot. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So, how am I doing? Oh, it's almost time. Uh, well, I want to try this out first. Okay, so let's let this set up. Um, what? Okay, so that would be the north side. North is items. Oh, I didn't think of that. I will definitely need another importer for fluids. Uh, because you can't have it going out the same side from the hopper point of view. So we want up to be fluid. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully I can flip this switch. That 
There we go. Are you getting stuff? Um, I guess I need to get, uh, to get some upgrades for this guy. I probably already have them made. Yes. Oops. Why did you go in there? All right, that should hopefully do the thing. All right, so let's check out the essence now. I am getting essence. There's some more essence coming in. Okay. So, <laughs> we are getting them. They're dying very well. So, let's go over and check if it works at the Coliseum. Uh, it looks like it was feeding it. I heard a little tinkle tinkle. It is not coming in. Well, I don't know what the purpose of chunk loading is if the stuff isn't going to be working when you're not over there. Um, So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. That is troublesome indeed. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> How am I supposed to go do other stuff when I have to stand here <laughs> watching my mom system? Um, that is whack. That is very whack. I don't, I don't understand which one it is. Is it, uh, this is it spawning or are those not collecting it and they're still spawning i'm guessing that it's probably this isn't spawning because it's two different mods uh doing the exact same thing um if it was just with that mod, industrial foregoing, then using mob grinding utilities should have fixed the problem, but it didn't. So it could be uh, the earth. Could be the earth is not activating when I'm not here. Um, which doesn't make sense because I thought that was the whole purpose of it was to have a better mob system. Hmm. I know how to build a mob system. I mean, the only purpose of having the cursed earth is so that you don't have to build a huge mob system.
Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's flack. Um, essence. Essence is coming in. Um, so both systems are getting essence. Hmm. I could have swore this was spawning fine when I had it, when I built it originally. I thought it was just working uh, nonstop. I, I guess I didn't really pay attention either way. So, I mean, this could be an old issue that I just wasn't aware of <laughs> because um, I guess maybe uh, me being up there, I was around enough to keep it activated. But when I'm over at the Colosseum, it's too far. Hmm. That is just um, very troublesome. Uh, so I guess while I'm working around here, it's going to work. But as soon as I go over there, <laughs> it's not going to work. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, I didn't really get a lot accomplished, but we did get uh, get to see the mana layout for the Colosseum, and <laughs> uh, we had to troubleshoot why these this isn't producing essence. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's being chunk loaded uh, right here. Uh, it's in the middle or just to the north of it here <laughs> so this one is this is the chunk that was force loaded it is force loaded uh you can see that uh so i don't know why it's not being loaded when i'm not here So anyway, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.